Welcome, bunnies. It's me, Robin Yoda, and this is my Warren. Let's talk today about The Chronicles of an Urban Druid by Auburn Tempest and Michael Anderley. You may have heard me talk about books by Michael Anderley before. He does a lot of co-authorship on series, and this is one that I really got into because of the concept of magic nature magic in an urban setting and how does that work how do you overcome the inherent limitations of nature magic in an unnatural environment the chronicles of an urban druid is as far as i can tell a 15 book series now i've been listening to it through my library on the libby by overdrive app Great app. I have a recommendation on it. If you don't have it, go get it. Thank you. This series, like I said, is 15 books. It's about a family of druids. The main character is the youngest of six. She has five older brothers. She's the only girl. They don't know that they're druids. Their dad left Ireland after having a huge fight with his parents and that's why they live in Toronto, Canada now. And the whole thing is her coming into her powers, figuring out that her father lied to her and her brothers about not knowing where his parents were or what had happened to them. The first book is really good about setting up the tension between her father and his family. And the first like five books is them figuring out how to be druids, what's going on, Re remedying the rift between her dad and his parents, and just generally figuring out life stuff. But here's the thing. The whole series, all 15 books that I've found so far, take place in about 18 to 20 months. That's a lot of stuff that happens in a year and a half, almost two years. A lot of stuff. And it gets really into what is going on why is your family so important what is your mission statement because when you first meet the main character she's kind of adrift she's working at a bar that she and her family have been loyal patrons of the proprietor is a family friend and she doesn't know what she wants to do she's thought about going to college didn't like it doesn't really understand what's going on with her life is really just lost and it's more about her finding a passion figuring out what's going on to you know, it, it's her figuring out herself and what she's doing. All that to say, this is a great series. I've been just binging it all the time. And if you like magic and self-discovery, then you're probably going to like this series. And that's really all you need to know, right? Bye.